G'day, we've got Bloke News for Friday the 15th of December. And this is the last time you're going to see Bloke News in this sort of format. Uh, we've had a bit of a rethink and we're going to do things a little bit differently. More about that just on the closing. But um, hitting the headlines, I mentioned the firefighters yesterday and the effort they're going through. Well, um, just to give an indication on, on how harsh it's actually been out there, uh, one of the firefighters was actually uh, killed or died last night in the middle of fighting a fire. Um, it, um, it, it got the better of them as it, as it uh, circled around and uh, basically ended up trap, trapped. Um, in terms of uh, property loss, um, in the last 24 hours we've lost uh, how many houses in Victoria? At least nine homes in Victoria and at least four more in Tasmania. So uh, a lot of devastation going out there to a lot of families and um, the, the rescue crews and all that sort of stuff. Again, my uh, uh, thoughts go out to them. They, they do such a marvellous job. Um, and yeah, just a shame, just a, such a shame that someone has to die in, um, uh, in those sort of circumstances. Uh, you know, very heroic way of going, doing, doing the utmost for your community. Um, but yes, there we go. Um, now, there actually is a World Meteorological Organization, WMO. And they monitor the data that comes in from the, around the world on um, basic temperatures and all that sort of stuff. Well, we've just had the sixth warmest spring on record. So there's a lot of talk about global warming. And so I think, well, if it's only the sixth one on record, you think if it was global warming that it would be the warmest. And um, you know, we've only been keeping records here for 100 years or so, so you know, not exactly a huge amount of data to go by. Um, but a, a, a bit that does actually fascinate me, you know, from countries that have been around a lot longer than Australia has, or have been keeping records longer than Australia has, I'm mean, sorry, it's been around for a long while, just haven't really sort of captured a lot of information there. Um, but England has actually had their warmest year on record since 1659. That's a lot of records to sift through. And I'm thinking that at least they would probably have a computer or something like that. And um, got to give it to the Belgians for, uh, for a crack and an absolute purr of a prank. Uh, Belgium sort of split between the French part of Belgium and the Dutch part of Belgium. And um, they had a massive news report saying that um, uh, the Dutch have claimed sovereignty or something or independence. They've declared in, or the, the Flemish, which is the Dutch part of it, have declared independence and Belgium is no more. And uh, it said people absolutely berserk. It turns out it was a fake news story. Just um, you know, one of those things to sort of uh, spur people up a little bit and all that sort of stuff, whatever. And it certainly did the trick. It, it's got everyone talking, and um, certainly going to be lots of debate happening there. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, the French Quebec uh, area of Canada has actually, I don't know if it's actually happened, but I think they're um, talking about being recognised as an independent, independent nation within Canada. I don't know, it's all too hard sometimes. You think you'd want to be known as Canadian? Well, they want to be known as French Canadians. I suppose they want to be known as Quebecians or something now. I don't know. Quebec. It's not really a country name, is it? I don't think it, don't think it rings well. I think it They'd have to think of a new name, I think. Anyway, um, now, what's happening with bloke news? Um, a few things have been brought, brought to my attention in, uh, in various things, and you know, just a simple process of doing analysis and so on. Um, I just bang this together every you know, 10 or 15 minutes every morning before I uh, head off and potter around and do the things that I do. And, um, and look, quite frankly, it's boring. Um, it's, uh, look, sometimes it's fun to make, but there's interesting news and all that sort of stuff. There's, there's a bit of a side element to this in some other stuff that I'm working on, um, just sort of seeing if there's enough content for you know, four or five um, interesting things on a daily basis. And it turns out there is, and um, it's those areas that I want to sort of expand on whatever. Uh, but all that aside, what are we going to do with bloke news? Well, um, searching around YouTube in particular and, and you know, having a look at uh, the types of things that people watch and like to watch and uh, like to comment on that fire people up and all that sort of stuff, um, it, it borders on those two things that are really, um, that really come up. Useless and useful. Um, <laughs> so uh, basically, from bloke news from now on, we're not going to do a daily show, or Monday to Friday, which is almost a daily in a midweek sense, not daily is in a daily seven day sense. Um, but we're just going to come up with useless or useful things. 
Um, and not sure on the regularity, it depends how often I feel like something is useless or useful. Um, or other people that uh, want to provide input find something useless, useless or useful. So um, uh, on that note, I, it's a fair bet that um, I'll probably get around to doing one tomorrow and it'll probably be about hangover cures because um, I'll have a perler. So uh, you might be able to see me um, try and deal with that. Uh, so yeah, watch out for more useless or useful information on Blade News. Cheers.